Hey y'all. So, um, I am going to show you a little Christmas uh, holiday project that I like to do every year. Um, it's, I haven't done it every year. I always want to and I do my best to work it out that I can. So this year I got prepared for it and um, next week is when it's it needs to be finished by. So I'm going to go ahead and do it this week. Um, and that project is Operation Christmas Child. There's the logo. Operation Christmas Child. And um, it's a Christian thing. It's, um, but you know, it, it really is about giving to a child. So to me, it's not really um, about the religious aspect. It's more about giving a child a Christmas present and having them um, have that joy of having that. So what it is, is you get a shoe box and you pick a boy or a girl and an age range and you pack a shoe box that's appropriate for, you know, that age and that child that you picked. And um, then you fill up your shoe box with all these toys and gifts and useful objects for them because a lot of times there's things they don't have that they need. So um, you fill up that shoe box with fun things and necessary things and you wrap up the shoe box in some holiday paper and um, then you put the label on it of boy or girl and which age you want to be giving to and then you bring it to one of the locations where they gather them up and they ship it off and it gets to one of those children. I just think it's a lot of fun. It's it's fun to make and it'll it's really you know rewarding to know that you're making a child happy and it's I don't know. I think it's a great thing to do and it doesn't have to be expensive to make a good shoebox. So that's what I tried to do. I wanted to spend at less than $50 on the two shoe boxes that I'm making total. I succeeded in that. I will show you guys what I got and I'll sh I will tell you how much it all cost and um, then I'm gonna go ahead and pack the shoe box. So first I want to say I'm sorry that I am sitting on my kitchen floor right now. The house is packed. Everything's a mess. I have nowhere to put anything so I found the space and um, there's the window so there's light so I thought okay I'll just do this and I have nowhere to put my camera at the moment so I'm just going to hold it and kind of try and do my best to make this into a decent video so I'm sorry it's shaky and um, on the floor but alright these are the things that I got okay so for my gifts I went to Target and gonna kind of divide them up per shoe box. I um I have decided to do I had two shoe boxes that I could find from this year. So I'm going to make two. I have I'm going to make one for a girl and one for a boy. And I picked for the boy I'm going to do two to four years old because that is the age range that I work with. So it's a little bit um, easier for me to know what kinds of things they're into. And for the girl, I'm going to do five to nine years old because I just I just thought that was a fun age to do. I thought they would like a lot of things and I could come up with some good stuff for them. So those are the age ranges. My cat has decided the shoebox is hers. Um, all right, I'm gonna show you guys what I got. So first thing that I got for them is these holiday Skittles and they're just the big boxes that you get at the movie theater and they were on sale for a dollar so I just got them each one. I think every kid likes some candy. You can give them candy just not chocolate and you can't give them regular food but you can give them candy so I got that. Then I got for the boy um, superhero toothbrushes because um, a lot of times they need hygiene items. This is not good light. They need hygiene items and um, so I thought this might be fun. These were also on sale. I forget for what but less than two dollars for three of them so I figured you know if he has siblings or friends or he wants to save them 
that's a great deal. So, freak the cat out. I don't know which box is going to be better for which, depending on how big the stuff is. But, all right, then I got these wooden blocks. They just have shapes on one side, letters, some numbers. Um, and there's just a bunch of them, and they were in the dollar section at Target, but they were three dollars. See, three dollars, which I thought was a great deal. And it's a little bit harder to find gifts for little kids that are cheap and appropriate, but I thought this would be a good one. So, let me put that in there for the little boy. And then... For the girl, I found this jump rope. It was a dollar and it has little snowmen as the handles, which I thought was really cute. It was also in the dollar section. Then I got these little Kleenex for both of them. I figured I'd put that one in with the boy and that one in with the girl. So um, I'll have to open these up. Then for the girl, I got this little 25 or 35 piece Snoopy puzzle that says friends are forever. Um, even if they can't read, because I don't know where this is going, I thought it was really cute, just the hug. Even if they don't know who Snoopy is, it's just an adorable picture. It was also $1 in the dollar section, so I thought that was cute. And then for the little girl, I got this little pens with polka dots on them. They are orange and pink and the stripy one. And they were also a dollar. And then I got the little notebook that goes with it, which was also a dollar. So I thought these were adorable. So they say they need a lot of school supplies. So she could use these for school or she could use them just to write because, you know, kids like to write and draw and um, things like that. So that's the little girl. Then I found also in the dollar section for her this little nail spa perfect manicure set. It comes with a file, a nail brush, a nail clipper, a trimmer, and it's in this little pouch with a little star and it's just cute and also a good hygiene item because I couldn't find a good toothbrush for a little girl so um, I thought this might be a good alternative for her to have something useful, but also that's cute and fun. So that's for her. Then, this is a little hand puppet that I got for a little boy. It was $3 in the dollar section. It's really soft, it's just an elephant. So that's for the little boy. I also got him just a little toy car. It's um, It was also a dollar. So that's for him. I got toothpaste. But I'm not sure if I'm allowed to send this because it's a gel. So I'm going to have to look into it. But I, I got it just in case because, you know, you don't want to get a toothbrush and then not have any toothpaste. So I'm going to have to check the website and find out. But um, this was also on sale, so I was like, that would be fantastic, but I'm not sure. But I'm going to put it in there for now. Then I got this little sippy cup um, penguin because I thought it was adorable. And it was $3, so I got that for the little boy. And then I got... This is adorable. This, hold on. This tank top was on clearance for $3.50. And it is so cute. It is like salmon-ish color and it has little hearts all over it. And I got it in a large, um, ages 10 to 12 because um, she's gonna be five to nine. So it's gonna probably be big. But I don't want to have a nine-year-old and her not be able to wear what comes in it. And I figure they'll be happy to wear it, you know, even if it's big for a while. Um, 
So I got this one. I just thought it was so cute. And what I got to go with it is these little hair clips that are so cute. And they were on clearance for $1.98. So I thought that was an awesome steal. So I have these for the girl. And then I also got a shirt for little boy. It's just this fox shirt. I got it in a 5T because a two to four year old, you know, same thing. I wanted them to be able to grow into it if they um, were four, you know, it, it might already fit. So I wanted to be able to, you know, make sure that whoever got it was able to wear it. And this one was even better. This one was on clearance for $1.50. And that's why I picked this one because it was the only only one that was that cheap and it was cute so I thought <laughs> that's awesome so that's what I got for the little boy so these are my shoe boxes at the moment I, I'm going to take off all the price tags and all those things so they are ready to go but I wanted to show you all the items I got for both the kids so the total of all of those things was $28.73, which I think was pretty awesome given how full these are. So I see a few gaps. Like, I could fit a few more things in each of these. So I might go maybe to the Dollar Tree. I might just look around um, my house because I know that I have some cute things that, um, even toys that I have never used that I have laying around that might be good for this. So I'm going to take a look. And, um, otherwise I might go to the Dollar Tree and just pick up a few more little things. But anyway, this is what they look like at the moment. Okay, so I went and I took a look around my house and I found a few things for the girl shoe box that I could throw in there. And that is this charm bracelet that, um, it's like a little girl charm bracelet that I was going to give to one of the kids I babysat for and never did. But it's really pretty. It is orange and silver and it just has all these heart-shaped charms on it so I'm gonna put that in there and then I found just three fun headbands there's a pink and black striped one a blue and white polka dot one and a multicolor polka dot one and these are all brand new I got them from a long time ago when I worked at Claire's so I'm going to put those in there too My filming space is getting even smaller. There's a pile of stuff there, and then there's this pile of boxes right behind me. <laughs> but anyway, I just wanted to share with you the things that I got at the dollar store to add to my boxes. So I'll start with the boy box. I got these shiny little robot stickers. They have little robot dogs and little gears and all kinds of fun things. I thought that was fun. I got ring pops. I got, there were four of them in the package, so I put two in each box. So I got those. And then I found this little, um, it's like a foam basketball. It's squishy. So that would be good for a little kid. So yeah, I put those things in, and that pretty much filled up that box. Then the girl box. I found this really soft little teddy bear, so I put that in. Then I found little owl stickers that are puffy and shiny, and there's flowers and trees and all colorful owls, so I thought that was cute. Then I got some Play-Doh, um, just really bright neon colors, so I thought that was fun. And I got also two ring pops for in this box. So now that I have all of my items, what I'm going to do is wrap up the boxes in just some holiday wrapping paper. And um, then I'm going to get them ready to drop off at a drop off location. So I have finished wrapping my shoe boxes. Here is the boy one and here is the girl one. And this one I've kind of done a terrible job wrapping, 
but I did my best. <laughs> it was just hard because it's like the top isn't separate, so I had to kind of work it out. But anyway, so then I took the labels that uh, you can print these off online or you can just, um, I get them in the mail just because I've done this before. And um, you just cut them out, mark the right age category, and you tape one on each box so they know what child to give it to. And then you also, you fill out um, the envelope. You have to put in a check with $7 per shoebox. Um, and you can do that online too, but I just did it like this. You have to just fill out a portion and then add your check and put it in one of your shoeboxes. So here they are. And um, donations are next week. So I'm going to find my nearest drop-off location and bring them there. Thanks for watching. The Operation Shoebox is a project that I have always had a lot of interest in. I think it's very fun to do and it also just brightens up Christmas for a child and I think that is completely worthwhile and it doesn't have to be something that you spend a lot of money on and it isn't even all that time consuming and even though you know even if it takes some time to go shopping and find good deals and things that'll fit in there it is also something that you know you can feel good about and you can have fun with and um it does a lot of good. I think it's a really good cause. So I hope maybe you guys had some, got some interest when watching this. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see y'all later. Thank you.